I'm Madison welcome back to my channel and I just wanted to do a basically a my favorite fantasy books this is gonna include some young adult this is also gonna include some some mature audience ones so let's get right into it I think I'll start off adult ones and then I'll save my YA for the end so if you don't know I'm currently reading the Zodiac Academy I am on the seventh book right now I love this series so I just think this is a great series. This does take a second to get into. Basically, this book, it is about Fae, if you're into the Fae world, um, fantasy world, um, but it does mix some real world too. So this takes place, two twins, they are basically transported to this Fae world where they, turns out that they are heirs to this entire kingdom. You like more like modern, fantasy you will love this book so you should definitely check out this series this is probably my third favorite series it falls in line with sarah g mass and um, from blood and ash and things like that which i will mention but honestly this is one i'm reading right now and i'm obsessed with it because it gives me that awesome feeling that <laughs> those previous ones did so you should definitely check this one out along with that um would be a court of Thorns and Roses, which I don't actually have my copy right now, but this is just the last one. And look how big this one is. Um, I think this is a great starting point for anyone who wants to get into fantasy. I know it also is more romance based, which is great because you do have the aspects of this fantasy world, but also you have like more romance behind it. So it makes it easier if you're not typically a fantasy reader. Also the good thing about Sarah J Maas is she has a whole slew of books. So the other one I would mention is Crescent City, which I actually have that one. I think it's right there. Yeah, wherever, it, oh, I think it's up there, wherever it is. And what's kind of cool is these worlds may interconnect. So if you read A Court of Thorns and Roses, you should definitely read Crescent City after because they will interconnect, which is super nice. And I will also mention her other one, which is Throne of Glass, but that's YA, so I'll save that for the end. It was honestly my favorite series. I loved it so much, and I couldn't really get into get into anything else so the next thing that i started to read was from blood and ash this is actually the second series it's the only physical book copy that i have because i rented from the library but from blood and ash and then this <laughs> okay north we're filming oh no sorry north is just gonna be here so, <laughs> so back to what i was saying um i actually ended up liking a shadow in the ember way more which is actually this series which is the um a light in the flame and she has the fifth one up from blood and ash coming out and then this one is coming out i believe in october so and then she has another one so i love this author i'm not gonna or min i'm gonna like butcher the last names so i don't want to say that but really good books the two series shadow and ember and from blood and ash they are very similar in their characters so their main character um, kind of like the romance love interest they are very similar so just know that going in I know some people hate that and love that I honestly love it and also what I would say is these two series other than Crescent City Crescent City is more similar to Zodiac Academy where it's more like modern day college um, but also has the fantasy world in it where these are like very fantasy to where like they have like obviously the mortal world and things like that but it wouldn't be like modern day if that makes sense so and these ones they like have like tablets you know what i mean like ipads and things like that this one i thought this was gonna be a standalone book but there's actually a second one this is a serpent and the serpent and the wings of night yeah of night this is really good this is more kind of like hunger games-esque you know you have I'm like trying to, I should honestly just read the back. Uh, this daughter of a nightborn vampire king. She is going in kind of like this Hunger Games thing and whoever wins um, is gonna be granted a wish from this one god. So yeah, I think it's super good. This is a little spicy too, so keep that in mind. Yeah, those are kind of all, this one also has a second one that's already out, so super good. And this one, and then Crescent City only has two books, but the third one is coming out. They are kind of a bit of a time commitment. So some of these books are eight or at least five to six 
five to eight books. So just keep that in mind whenever you are reading these. You can either love it and hate it. I love it because it's nice to get emotionally attached to a book. And moving on to my YA section. So I'll start off and just say Sarah J Mass, Throne of Glass. I think this is super interesting. I know if you're a little bit younger, it might be nice to read this. And then whenever you're older, read Lord of Thorns and Roses and stuff like that. But I love this. This is, I think, one, two, three, four, six, seven, seven book commitment but I love it. I love the main character. It really is plot driven. Um, there is a little romance probably in the fourth or fifth book but I love this. So much world building and it's really cool because Sarah J Maas kind of interconnects all of her worlds so it's really unique and there's a lot of theories out there so you should definitely read this book. Along with that I would say I, I believe this one is YA. I'm like 90% sure. If it's not, I totally apologize. I'll <laughs> look it up. The Atlas Six. I didn't love this book, but I'm still going to recommend it. I think I gave it a four. But this is university, modern, um, but kind of like a secret society where there is magic and things like that. The only drawback that I did not, that I have on this book is just it was a lot of perspectives all in one. So it was kind of hard to remember who is who and what all was going on. But other than that, I really like this book. So it might be a little confusing and there is a second book already out so you can check that one out. Another thing I'll say, which I don't mind different perspectives, I think the way that Sarah J Maas did hers was very good because you kind of learn a lot about the main character at first and then she will slowly kind of enter twine other people's perspectives but you still like you still draw a connection where sometimes I feel like if they rush too many characters it's hard to really get that emotional connection to a character. So next, I would say Shadow and Bone. I believe I still gave this like a four or a three. I didn't love this at times. There is a TV show, obviously, so maybe you've seen it, but I still think this is a really good one. It was really a unique world and yeah. I, I, and also it's like romance isn't like the top thing. So really plot driven. I liked it. I tried to read her other ones, The Six of Crows, but I could not get into it. Um, maybe one day I'll pick it back up. And these ones are kind of one-off books. So Light Lark, I know this kind of got a lot of hate at first. I actually really love this. I gave this one five stars. This is supposed to be more Hunger Games-like, dark fantasy, um, more, you know, different world, not really like um, the modern world. I think this is a super easy one. I think there is some little romance, but... Yeah, I think it's good. And my last one is Vamps. I really liked this one. I was really into kind of like vampires and things like this. And this one is more university, but again, it's not, it's not like the modern world, which is good. And it's kind of like in the Swiss Alps. And it's kind of this half blood vampire um, is going back and just trying to see if he would survive and also um, grow into his power. So I think this I think this one is going to be a series too, but this is just the first one. So those are all of my favorite fantasy books. Please comment below any of yours. Let me know if you've read any of these. And yeah, I guess if you want to follow me on Goodreads, you can see my reviews. But thanks so much for watching. But also I want to show y'all my sweatshirt. It says Hot Girls um, Read Smut. So that's obviously mature <laughs> content, but... I just think it's very fitting. I love this sweatshirt because I just got it. Um, I can link it below, 